Hello. Uh, okay, that's a lot better. Hello. Today I'm gonna teach you. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make a uh, scary music. I th I think this will help on like indie games or movies. So this. Is so what you want to do is pick three notes. Now, what if you're trying to make a like a scary uh, movie or or a point and click game, scary game? I would choose the high notes that makes a squeak. If you want to, uh, hold on. If you if you want to make like um kind of like a deep scary game i will choose um the medium i don't think i was thinking of the dark pitch but so yeah if you want to make like a like a dark like a torture uh i would choose the low notes i said dark pitch notes i don't know what i'm saying okay now, I'm going to choose the high notes, because the high notes are very good to make a scary and a scary movie song. Now, what you want to do is pick three notes, two black ones and one white one. Or, you could pick three black ones and two white ones. I'll explain that later. Now, I'm just going to pick two black ones and one white one. You want to choose the highest or the lowest, or whatever's in the middle like the like the closest in the middle because they can make it good so what you want to do is do this white no first and then you want to do the high the closest to the like you want to choose the right one second and you want to choose the uh the left one last. So it will be like this. It's a very good start. Okay, so you got the windows closed. Alright. So. There we go. It's a pretty good start. And then you want to choose a second one. You need to choose three black notes together. If you don't, it will be pretty confusing. And it won't sound pretty good. So, you could do that, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. So, you want to do this pattern. And then do this. You're still using the same note as in the middle. And you're using the last one that is in the right. It's kind of the same pattern. The only difference is it just uses the same note. Sorry if I make a few mistakes. You can do it more, but you need to have the ending in the in the pattern. So it'll be like this. Sorry if I missed that. And then after you finish that that pattern. Uh, you move to the low notes. Now, 
let's listen to the low notes. You want to choose the closest uh, three. You can choose this one, but that sounds pretty good. Sing. You can do it twice or just once. Now, uh, you now if you're doing the high pitch or the medium, you choose the low notes. If you're choosing the low notes, uh, you do the medium or the high pitch. So, I'm um, since I'm choosing the high pitch, I would choose this. We're on the second line after the pattern went like this. So, let me play it like this. Um, yeah. And then you use the uh, closest three low notes. You could choose any three low notes. It just had to be like... It just has to be uh, like a very low note. Not like a medium. So, so every time... I don't know how to explain it. But, uh... Okay, let's just do it. I will, you'll probably understand. Wait, I'm gonna only show you the low notes and see what I'm doing. Okay, that's a lot better. So you can see all the notes. The closest is the three notes. So one, two, three. Oops, one, two, three. practice to get to the fast pace. You can do it slow. begin it, I would choose it slow, and then if you're really good at it, you can choose it fast. I, you know, I'm not really good at it, so, um, I would do every, uh, note, so, Oh, sorry, I thought it was pause. Okay, um, so first I will finish the high pitch, and it's going to be, first I'm going to do it uh, fast, and then I'm going to do it slow. I probably will do it slow for all of them.
over with the wind and low notes, Caleb. high pitch or low pitch if you're choosing the middle or when you're choosing the middle you can do uh you can do the middle okay i kind of messed up there now I'm going to do the middle. I'm going to start off with the low notes kick in. I think you can do it. Here, let me try doing it with the low pitch. With the um, high pitch. Now, I don't think you can do the high pitch. You mostly use the... Uh, um, the, the the low notes um, for the middle and the pitch. Well, not really the pitch. You just use you use the middle and the uh, the the low note because if you do the high pitch, it doesn't really have a good tempo. So yeah, let me open my tempo. There you go. It doesn't really have a good tempo because it's very squeaky. So yeah. Now I'm gonna do uh, the middle note. Because a high pitch, I it doesn't really have a good tempo. Uh, so you do this one. It's a little confusing for me because I'm kind of right-handed. So I choose the closest middle. <laughs> I messed up. If you're left-handed or you're good um, playing at, or if you're if you're good playing at the piano, um, you will do it. Now, this isn't a tutorial. This is just my advice. So, bye. Wait, hold on. Bye. <laughs> I got my eyeball. My eyeball. Okay, bye.